Hello, my name is Monique Nolan, and I'm your host for today's episode of Our Ventura TV. We have our special guest today is Kira Bergman, a student from a uh, local Ventura. And Kira will be talking to us today about her experience getting back to normal as COVID-19 abates. Kira, welcome, and we're glad to have you with us. Thank you, I'm glad to be here. So Kira, every college student's life changed when the pandemic came and everyone had to pivot. Many colleges transitioned or are, are transitioning back to traditional on-campus learning. What has been your experience transitioning back to on-campus learning from virtual learning? Unfortunately, all of my classes have remained in distance learning this semester. However, I did get to intern in an elementary school in Cambridge. Mm -hmm. And it was just really nice to be back in a classroom in that aspect. And in fall, my classes will be in person. Mm -hmm. So I'm very excited to go back and have in-person learning and a more co normal college experience. Very good. So, so you're going to be transitioning back to in-person learning. Tell me what specific things are you doing to prepare yourself for that? I'm trying my best to be patient and flexible Campus life is definitely not going to be what I'm expecting or used to. So I feel like if I'm going into it with patience and flexibility, then I'll get a better experience out of it. And, and what's from your perspective, Kara, what specific ways can parents of college students help their young adults be ready to trans transition back to camp on campus learning? So my parents have always been very supportive of whatever I do. So I know that will definitely help. They've also encouraged me to like stay safe and get vaccinated just so I can be safe and also experience college the way, like the best way possible. Very good. Has your personal or your global perspective on life and living changed because of the pandemic? And if so, in what ways? My perspective has definitely changed. I'm used to a very active and busy lifestyle. And when the pandemic hit, everything basically stopped. It was hard to get used to at first, but it honestly made me appreciate my family a lot more and just having time to myself because it gives me time to like take care of myself and my mental health and everything a lot more than I did before, which I'm thankful for the pandemic in that aspect, but I'm also ready to get back to everything. And anything specific that you do now that you didn't do then before the pandemic? Um, I do yoga now. I didn't do yoga before. Very good. Do you or have you discussed the pandemic and its impact with your friends and your peers like on how it's impacted your lives, their lives um, and their views? And what have they said about it? Yeah, so I actually have talked about this a lot. I live with four other roommates and we're all from different states. So it's just interesting to see how COVID was handled in each state and what each person experienced. Like for me, I had a drive through graduation for high school. For one of my best friends from Texas, she got an actual graduation. Mm -hmm. So it's just interesting to like compare all of the pandemic statuses. Interesting. So Kira, what are you most looking forward to when the pandemic is over? I'm looking forward to traveling. I love traveling and when everything's safe, it'll be so nice to go out again and experience new places. Very good. And Kira, if there's one thing, one thing you could impress upon our viewers, what would that one thing be? I would say just hang in there. The pandemic has been a very challenging time, but I feel like we can all get through this and it will be crazy to believe we lived through a pandemic. And we got through the pandemic. Yeah, theoretically, we shouldn't be going through this again in our lifetimes. I know. And I feel like it will definitely be something in like history books. And we lived through a history book moment. That is true. That is true. Well, Kira, that's all the time we have left for today's show. I want to thank you for taking the time to speak with us today. My name is Monique Nolan. And until next time, thank you for watching Our Ventura TV.